sunny day here in London, though I do have my jacket because it's also a little overcast. I'm just in Green Park. I'm strolling through here on the way to St. James's Park. I'm heading there to meet up with an old friend. Uh, we're gonna go on a little stroll in the park since it's so nice today. And then I'm really excited because I'm meeting uh, my best friend Anna at Kensington Palace and we're gonna go check out this amazing like couture exhibit that's going on right now. And plus, let's be honest, who doesn't wanna go check out a palace, especially one where like Kate Middleton and Prince William live. I think it's gonna be a good day. Um, first, coffee. They're really famous for being in this park. My friend says that this is the only park to have them in, which is really cool. Uh, my friend also told me that this was Princess Diana's favorite park, which, let's be honest, makes us love it even more. It's absolutely gorgeous today. We just had a little bit of ice cream and we're still just strolling around, enjoying the sun. If you're in London and looking for something a little more relaxing to do, this is a good place to go, especially if it's warm. Come get some ice cream, get a little bit of coffee, and just chill out. It's perfect. Okay, so now I'm just taking a little stroll from St. James's Park up to St. James's Palace. The palace was originally built by Henry VIII as a hospital. I'm not sure when, but at some point it did become the palace, obviously. Everybody who was royal lived there until Queen Victoria, and then they moved, I think, to Buckingham Palace. And if it sounds familiar, it's because this is where King Charles' ascension to the throne was announced last year after the Queen died. Okay, so now I'm just cutting through Hyde Park, which I'm sure pretty much everybody's heard of. It's one of the most famous parks here in London. It's absolutely gorgeous, especially today. Kensington Palace is on one side of it. There's also the Princess Diana Memorial that's here. So it's another like noteworthy thing. A little bit of history about the park. It actually started out as a place for the monks of Westminster to come and like stand out. Uh, they like, you know, would grow plants, talk to God. And then Henry VIII decided he wanted a private hunting ground near the palace. So what did he do? He kicked them out, brought in a bunch of deer, and this became his private hunting ground. Now, it's a gorgeous public park that you should absolutely visit when you're here in London. I found my friend Anna, and now we're heading into Kensington Palace to go see Exhibit.
So we just left Kensington Palace. It was gorgeous. The exhibit was fantastic. Seeing Blake Lively's dress in person alone was phenomenal. Got my little nephew a corgi, named Betty after Queen Elizabeth. And now I'm gonna go in search of dinner. just figured I'd give you a little update because I think it's kind of funny. I have been walking around now for a little bit with my nephew's corgi. He doesn't fit in my purse. I've got a hold him like under my arm. I just had an entire Italian family come up asking if they could pet him because they thought he was real. I mean, he's really cute, but I don't think he looks that real. We are kind of coordinated with all of it, so there's also that. Uh, I've got to run. I just wanted to show you the circus at night, and now uh, the theater. and I are just walking home from the theater. We saw the effect at the National Theater. It was amazing. It's by Lucy Preble and directed by Jamie Lloyd, who's an amazing director. He did like Betrayal and uh, recently Doll's House on Broadway. So now we're just walking home along the Thames because why not? It's a gorgeous night. And honestly, what could be better? 